Notice that there is a clear parallel with gravity. Newton's law of gravity, that the force, which in that case is always attracting, gravity never repels, is the product of two masses. And then you have here the gravitational constant, and again you have the distance square. So there is an enormous parallel between the two. It's a great beauty that electricity acts in a way that is very parallel to the way that gravity works. If you compare electricity with gravity, you will see that electric forces are way more powerful than gravitational forces. If now I compare the electric force with the gravitational force, so I divide one by the other, notice that the D cancels. They both have D squared downstairs. And so you will easily be able to show that this ratio is roughly 10 to the 36. So the electric force is 36 orders of magnitude more potent than the gravitational attraction. This teaches you some respect, perhaps, for 802. If these were the only forces that acted on the protons, and you bring them in the nucleus, which has a size of only 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, then the acceleration that the proton will experience is the electric force divided by the mass of the proton, F equals ma, basis of 801. And if you take this electric force, when you make d, 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, which is 10 to the minus 14 meters, and you calculate this ratio, you will find that it is 26 orders of magnitude higher than the gravitational acceleration on Earth. 26 orders of magnitude higher. So you wonder what the hell holds the nucleus together if there is such a tremendous force on these protons. Well, what is holding them together are the nuclear forces, which we do not fully understand, but thank goodness the nuclear forces are not part of 802, so I'll leave that alone for now. So what holds our world together? Well, on the nuclear scale, 10 to the minus 12 centimeters, very important are the nuclear forces. On an atomic scale, up to thousands of kilometers, it's really electric forces that hold our world together. It's really electric forces that hold our world together. 